So we all know the most important part of a good film is a good story. And in the story department, we take all our ideas and we give them a shot. Storyboard artists will get the script, develop it, and turn it into a series of these comic book-like drawings that break a sequence down shot by shot. As a storyboard artist, we will take a script and go back and draw pictures. And those pictures, it's like a large comic strip. And what we'll do is we'll take those pictures and pin them up on a board. We will have uh, dialogue strips, which are the dialogue for the movie. We'll pin those up too. And so you see the movie in sequence. And what we'll do is we'll bring these boards in, get as many people as we can to get opinions, and we'll take a pointer, go along those drawings, and pitch them as if they were in the actual film. So you get an idea of whether it's working before you commit to editing and animation and you try to work out some of the gags and uh, the business that happens in, in the uh, story sequence that we're working on. Puts it down on his board. Ivory Ghost, your immediate supervisor. You get the golden rod. Golden rod. And Mike's got paper in his mouth. That's how the sequence is. When you think of the word uh, storyboarding, you really should say storyboarding because what we do at Pixar is we'll throw something up on a storyboard and then take it down, analyze it, rip it apart, put it back together, and start over again. I've been on this film for five years since I came up with it to when it's released. And the thing that's been the hardest to, to do is just get the story to be just right. As it's been said many times, they could put a sign over our door here in the story room where we work that story is king, that story always has to work before you can move down the line and have the other departments plus it to the final film. But if it doesn't work here, you just can't let it go downstream.